right in my nose. Let's see what we have here for my beautiful cancer babies. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my cancers today? Please, Spirit, clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. So we have the nine of swords in the reverse, and we have the seven of swords. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Devil in the reverse. Capricorn energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages. So we have the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. And we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. The Lover's card in the reverse, Gemini energy. And we have the Empress in the reverse, Aries, Taurus energy. Clarity, guidance, left, okay. Three of Wands in the reverse. And we've got the Hanged Man, Piscean energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. We've got the Temperance card in the reverse, Sagittarian energy. And we've got the Chariot in the reverse, Cancerian energy. Wow, Cancer, goodness. Okay, so my loves, under the deck, we've got the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So Cancer, what I'm feeling here in the recent past or coming into the near future, time is not linear, so you know, take it as it resonates, okay? I feel like with the Nine of Swords in the reverse, Cancer, you're releasing something, okay? Cancer, you are no longer worried about it. You're not losing sleep over something. With the Seven of Swords energy, I feel like you're getting away from something. You're just just walking away done okay i feel like you may have even some of you may have sabotaged the connection to get away but more than anything i just feel like you're just dipping like you're done you're just done the empress in the reverse is an energy of i have nothing left to give to this connection i'm actually seeing um like a like dirt like i'm seeing ground like uh how do i want to say what i'm trying to see right now Farmers, they are able to farm land on moist, rich soil, right? You plant seeds, it grows, it's vibrant, it's, vi it's, a, it's got that vitality to it. I'm seeing like a barren land, like dirt when it's very dry and cracked. Like you're starting to see a, something here as there's nothing for me to build here. There's, there's nothing left for me to give to this. And with the lover's card in the reverse, it's just done. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is the ending of a connection here. And it could have been a soul tie connection. Um, I feel like you're walking away. Now, the lover's card does talk about making a decision. So you could be moving on to someone else. You could be choosing someone else or something else. But ultimately, you're making the decision to get the hell out of Dodge. You just don't want to be here anymore. Um, with the Ace of Swords in the reverse and the Three of uh, wands in the reverse, you're no longer seeking something out. You're no longer waiting for that ship to come in. You're no longer taking action towards this. You're no longer seeing victory. You know, Swords talks about action, victory, forward movement. Um, you're just no longer pursuing something here, Cancer. With the devil in the reverse, you're releasing the toxicity with the hanged man here. I feel like you've waited long enough, Cancer. In this particular connection, whoever I'm talking about here, you have really put the time into this cancer you've waited long enough um for this person to see your worth you've waited long enough giving them the benefit of the doubt over and over again it has been a sacrifice cancer and i feel that you know you're just you, you've gained the enlightenment that this is there's just nowhere out left to go in this connection there's nothing You've been left wanting for so long that you're just dipping. You're done, you know. King of Wands energy here. Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Um, 
with the seven of pentacles or the reverse cancer you're not looking back you're very confident very grounded here you're very confident in your decision you're, you're just not looking back and you know that investing in this situation investing in the past is not the way to go with temperance in the reverse you no longer have the patience for this and with the chariot in the reverse you know that this person or this situation is not for you it's not going to lead to any type of victory it's not going it's just not going anywhere so you're done your patience is just done you have no more forgiveness to give this person you've got nothing left to give to the situation you're in king of swords energy here cancer king of wands energy you're in this energy of i see the truth for what it is um you know the king of swords energy is one of setting goals making plans creating strategies wanting to pursue that but it's victory king of wands and the the upright king of swords and the upright those are th th these are kings that make decisions for victory cancer do you understand what i'm saying like the king of wands has you know that beautiful ego the king of wands wants to win the king of wands wants to be proud of what you know is a what what they're putting their time and their energy into do you understand and i feel like cancer you're in this energy of i only want that beautiful rich moist soil something that i can build on something that i can plant my seeds and and watch it grow watch it flourish and you're just confident that there is nothing here that you know that, that you're just um wasting your time really you know and you've given it a lot of your time you know because i see here you've been patient you're out of patience you know you've given this more than enough time cancer Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers. Tell me about the Nine of Swords in the reverse, please. We've got the Judgment card in the reverse. Cancer, you are not giving any more second chances. You're not dealing with it. Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords. You know, this person has lied, cheated, taken advantage of you so much. And you have spent so much time in this energy knowing that you're being robbed of your peace patience kindness joy love money time attention you name it you're just not in that energy anymore you're not going to lose sleep if anything the person that you're that you're you're like giving it back to them like you know what i'm saying you're giving the cooties back to them you know and, and now they're the ones that are going to lose sleep they're the ones that are going to because you're walking away the empress in the reverse please we've got the knight of wands in the reverse leo sag aries energy you have no passion for this anymore this is no longer your wish fulfillment there may have been a time in this connection where this was like everything that you wanted not anymore tell me about the lovers card in the reverse yep yeah, look the star card in the reverse aquarian energy this is no longer what you want here cancer you see you want to plant those three pentacles you want a partnership that's going to be real someone that you know if you start working on the you know an empress manifest master manifester you know you want to build an empire with someone here cancer you're not looking to just play games ace of swords in the reverse we've got the tower in the reverse you're no longer taking action this is not coming back together and i feel like for some of you you're actually waking up to the fact that you feel fortunate that you've dodged a bullet because it could have been so much worse you could have spent more time chasing after this three of wands the this is over this is over. This is a cycle that has closed out. You're no longer pursuing it. You're no longer interested. The devil in the reverse. The six of wands. This, this speaks about what I was telling you about with the king of wands. You want to be proud of what you're doing. You want to be proud of who you're with, of the situations that you give your time and energy to. This is you taking back your self-respect, Cancer. Taking back your self-respect and letting go of the toxicity, the hanged man. And yeah, see, you're tired of waiting to manifest the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, cancer, you're tired of waiting, you want to start, you want to build a life. And this situation that I'm talking about here for whoever this is, with the strength card, you have had to hold back from doing whatever it is that you wanted to do cancer, because you're waiting <coughs> on whoever this is to get their life together to see your value. And finally, you're just like, listen, I want to manifest. I want to build an empire. I want to have a family. I want a relationship. Whatever it is that you're looking to pursue, this person wasn't giving it to you. And Cancer, you're just leaving it. King of Wands, please tell me about the King of Wands. Yeah. 
King of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, and the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. Cancer, this person is going to come at you, okay? They're going to come at you. This person is not going to want to be left out in the cold, okay? They are not going to want... This person is going to be all up in their feelings, okay? Very much stuck on you. Um, this person wants the stability that you offered. They want that back. This person possibly thought that you were never going to actually ever walk away from them. So with that King of Swords energy in the reverse, this person may get really nasty cancer so just be careful with that okay um the king of swords in the reverse is a violent energy the king of swords in the reverse is just out of control it could be narcissistic manipulative very very abusive type of energy and with the five of pentacles in the reverse this person doesn't want to lose you the good news is is that with the king of wands in the upright you're 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 fine this person's not going to chip at you at all like you know what i'm saying you are set in stone you know exactly what you want you're standing your ground so they can say or do whatever they want to do it's not going to phase you seven of pentacles in the reverse the king of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy um cancer you're very grounded here very grounded you know exactly what you want to give your time and your attention to you may be focusing on business you may be focusing on um, people in your life that are more committed more grounded you are not giving your time or attention to the past and you're not investing in things that don't serve you um, and I do feel like this person oh I do feel like this person is going to come in they're going to be jealous they're going to be angry they're going to have rage they're going to try to keep you chained to them cancer okay they're going to come in but i feel here that um you know emperor empress energy here uh, cancer i feel like you're moving towards a connection you, you need somebody by your side that is at your level okay see we have an emperor and an empress here and i feel like this person's coming towards you as a page okay so i feel like you may be walking away with the five of swords energy here to pursue a connection that is more equal to what you need okay an emperor and an empress that's a power couple that's a divine that's a divine um soulmate could be twin flame could be divinely guided but that's your perfect counterpart and that's what you're looking for tell me about temperance in the reverse please there you go, the devil. <laughs> You're you are tired. You're tired of the toxicity. You're tired of being chained to something toxic. You're tired of it. Tell me about the chariot in the reverse and the two of pentacles. You know, I feel like you have been in a situation with this person where you never knew where you stood. You never knew if you were being juggled. You never knew what was happening. It was just like a whole relationship packed with nothing but confusion. And you're realizing that you just don't want to give your time and energy to that anymore, Cancer. I feel like you're the one taking off now with the full card Aries energy. Four of cups, you don't want what this person has to offer anymore. You just don't want it. Yeah, you, you're tired of waiting of, you know, you're, you, you're seeing things around you that you want to pursue. You're seeing, you know, I want a relationship. I want to buy a home. I want to have kids. Like you want these things and you constantly have to hold back because you're waiting for this person to come around and do right by you. And you're like, you know what? Screw this. I'm better off on my own. I'm going to go into pre empress mode. I'm going to focus on my pentacles, focus on my own life. I'm getting the hell out of this. And eventually you know what I'm saying? Eventually, I will find the person that's meant for me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I, I feel like this ex may not take it well. It may be a little overwhelming for this ex because I feel like they just never expected, um, maybe this person just never expected for you to dip on them, Cancer. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. So we've got your dreams need a practical plan. So that's what I'm saying here, Cancer. You have dreams. You want to manifest. And it's just not practical to be with someone that's not on the same page as you. This person is obviously very toxic, okay? We've got financial constraints. For me in a love reading, this is, you know, a five of pentacles energy. You're leaving something out in the cold. Ooh, you're leaving something out in the cold here. Why? Because they're deceitful. So you're walking away. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're following your intuition. You're following your higher guidance here, Cancer. You're just, you know what I'm saying? You can't expect to grow a beautiful garden in that dry, cracked, you know what I'm saying, soil. And that's what you have here. You just have, yeah, see, you're meeting someone new, Cancer. New supportive connections. You're meeting someone new. We've got behind a mask. And we've got travel and joyous fun. I feel like you're not going to tell people what you're up to, Cancer. 
Okay, I feel like you're not going to tell people what you're what you're up to. Um, you may not tell. So with this new person, Cancer, I feel like you want to move forward with this person. I feel like there's going to be a lot of joy. Maybe you guys are going to travel together, but it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of joy with this new person. You may be a little guarded with this new person, Cancer. You may not show this person up front um, that you want to move forward with them, that how much you enjoy their company, you know, because you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot here. Spirit, give me one more. We've got peace. Yeah, you, you've been through a lot, Cancer, and you're just trying to find your peace and your healing. So you may not like be very open to the new, you know, like I feel like you are not, you have not given up on the hope of love. You want to manifest, you know what you want. But, you know, on face value, you may be a little closed off to the new person. But ultimately, I'm seeing traveling, I'm seeing fun, I'm seeing peace. You're going to be happy here, Cancer. Spirit, tell me about my cancers, please. We've got coffee cup. You don't want to talk to this person. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment. You don't want to talk to this person, Cancer. You're not really, you're not interested in going backwards. You are not interested in going backwards. Girl talk. Um, yeah, see, this person doesn't want you to move on. We've got time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. This person wants to meet up with you, Cancer, because they don't want you to move on. But I feel like you're not, you're not going to, you're just not dealing with it. You're not dealing with it. We have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, sensation, third party interference. We've got I like you under the deck. Someone likes you, romances, blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date. There's a third person coming in here, Cancer. There's a third party person coming in here, and I feel like you're very attracted to this person. You enjoy dating this person, flirting, having fun. You're in peace with this person. It's a romance that's that's blooming. You know what I'm saying? It's very new, but you have this past here lingering that wants to try to... Um, yeah, this person may be very narcissistic, codependent, they're obsessed, they're going to be, I'm telling you, that King of Swords energy in the reverse could be someone very violent, very narcissistic, um, you know, very controlling, manipulative. This person's not going to want to let you go, Cancer, but I feel like you're strong. I feel like you're strong, okay? Um, abundance here. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. You can do this, Cancer. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Cancers, please. Playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and soulmate. Yeah, Cancer, you have a soulmate coming in that's going to bring a lot of joy into your life. You're going to have a lot of fun with this person. And we have this ex that's very codependent on you. They don't love you. This person just, you know, they don't want to let you go. Maybe they were narcissistic and you were, you know, they fed off of you. I don't know, Cancer, but I don't see you really making the mistake of going backwards. Okay? I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.